we just had a customer buy the new Terran Tactical, you know, the John Wick version. And the same customer also bought this amazing piece of equipment right here. What is this thing again? Shadow System. Shadow System. So, you know, uh, what we hate to do is see people waste money or spend money that's no good. I'm going to talk about both these guns for a second. And uh, now, I'm going to not do the YouTube thing, which is I'm not going to go shoot a gun because I don't want to get demonetized and all those types of fun things. Maybe we can talk our customer into letting us shoot this one on the range, putting it up on our Rumble page. That might be a possibility. But we have a lot to say about these two guns. Uh, first of all, we are a gun manufacturer. Uh, not that that makes us real special, but we do have the ability to, to put our hands on, man, more guns than most people, you know, ever even see. Uh, a few new guns a day come through the shop. Matter of fact, we fi you fixed one today for the police department. I did. Uh, good job. Took you like whole 60 seconds. Um, it's amazing what happens when you load the bullet in backwards in the casing and then you buy hand loads and don't realize you're buying reloads. Anyway, it's on another topic. But I want to talk about these two guns. Um, if you've watched the channel enough, you know what guns we like. We don't do a lot of gun reviews, mainly because, mainly because, you know, honestly, YouTube and Facebook hate them. Uh, the other is time. Like, we have a range now. We just, man, we don't have freaking time to go shoot. Uh, we're, we're fairly busy. But um, the best gun I ever put my hands on was neither one of these. Handgun. The best handgun I've personally ever put my hands on was not one of these. One of these is a close second. Uh, the best one I put my hands on was uh, an Atlas. Um, you were here. There's Man, I'm telling you, there was nothing like the, the action that gun had. Uh, everything about it, from the trigger to the slide, just to the appointments on the gun, it was just, it was first class. It's a $6,000 pistol, though. Um, so when it comes to splitting hairs, like splitting hairs, you really can't compare or put a gun in the same class as a $6,000 pistol, right? Unless it's another multi-thousand dollar pistol. Or can you? Or can you? That's the question, right? Sure. So, uh, first of all, there's a couple things you look at right out of the box when you grab a gun. Um, now, it's not fair to just pick on the way one fits your hands. All, our, all of our hands are different. You know, er, the ergonomics, everybody looks at things a little differently as far as ergonomics go. But, man, there's a couple things you just, you cannot ignore, right? One of the main things you cannot ignore, the freaking trigger. I mean, you know, you rack your slide, you reset it, you can look at the uptake, uh, feel how that thing compresses. Is it like what you're saying, something like a dry sponge? It's just... Glocks and triggers feel like dry kitchen sponges. Hey, man, if you like Glock, they always go bang. I have no problem with them going bang. I'll just let that go to voicemail. It's going to ring. Um, but the other issue really is, uh, you know, what type of, you know, how smooth the slide is, how does the action feel, even before you shoot, even before you shoot a gun. Like, if you pick up a sky, you pick up a high point, it's so easy to say, this is a she's a pit. I mean, it's just like the easiest thing in the world. You know. Now, if you don't handle guns every day, you don't have your hands on a bunch of different manufacturers to know how they feel, you might not know. Am I dragging this out? I'm dragging it out for one reason. Because I'm in love with one of these guns. Like, if I were going to have a gun gas, it would be with one of these guns. So my wife's going to hate that. hope she wouldn't see this video. Anyway. Oh. Quick point, both of these guns have less than a $60 difference in the price tag. Huge point, yes. And they are both above 1000 but below $1,100 at our shop cost. Yes, that is correct. And that's a huge point. Now, the guy who bought both of these guns, he is a security customer of ours. He saved over $800 buying these two guns. That's a plug for the shop. If you don't know... We do security services. We do commercial and we do residential security. If you have any of our services, you get to buy things at our cost. Not an unlimited supply, but you get to buy them at cost. So I think his security system for his home was like 450 bucks and he bought like uh, $2,200 worth of guns and more than that, but he saved, he saved about $800 off a of retail price. So let me talk about this gun right here. I'm gonna give it away too quickly, I know. And then I'll talk about the Terran Tactical. 
So for those of you who don't know who Shadow, Sys Shadow Systems are, uh, they just basically make a Glock, Glock Gen 4 clones, what they do. They're a Polymer 80 kind of gun. I know you guys who like Shadow Systems are going, it's not a freaking Polymer 80, it's their own gun, it's their own parts. I'm not going to argue over that with you, okay? I'm going to tell you it's a lot like, uh, you know, just a P80 gun. Does it have a better trigger? Well, so I get to pull triggers all day, every day. We get to pull triggers all day, every day. Um, I'm going to reset it. It has a short uptake, okay? The uptake's pretty short. Um, however, I've still got, to me, what feels like a slightly modified Glock trigger. It's not a lighter trigger, really, necessarily. Um, doesn't feel necessarily like a dry sponge. Uh, but I can tell you that every canic, every Walther, every CZ that I put my hand on out of the box has a better trigger than that gun does. And this is a thousand dollar gun that Shadow Systems is selling. A thousand dollar gun. You can get a CZ for less. I love some C. I love me some CZs, man. Um, so it has a short uptake. It's got a hard trigger pull. Um, another thing is the slide. So when I, when I mentioned the Atlas earlier, I'm telling you, when I pulled the slide on the Atlas, man, it was like glass on glass. I can't begin to describe to you how nice the gun. I wish you had done a video on that gun, man. We really should have. But uh, there's nothing really smooth about this. It, it feels a lot like a Glock. If you're a Glock fan, you know every time you pick up the gun, pull the trigger, it's going to go bang, right? I mean, that's what's going to happen. Uh, but it's it's just, it's not smooth. Even the reset, when, right before it comes back to reset everything on your trigger, there's just that typical catch of what feels to me like a cheap-ass gun. So that's what I have to say about that. I, I may get a chance to shoot it. I'll ask the customer because I haven't shot a Shadow Systems in a long time. I have not shot this version at all. Now, what's been the comment everybody has made? It's not even a comment. It's more like a, a, a sound. What, when, you, when we open this box every time. Every time. Everyone. Every customer. <sighs> everyone who works here. It, it's the exact same sound. It's a deep guttural. <sighs> it, it has a little more roll at the end. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Kind of like, oh, I'm thinking of a great analogy, but that's only the beach. I cannot, I can't make that analogy. I'll just keep my mouth shut. So, I <laughs> better keep my Probably mouth shut. Wise. Look, it's a, it's a nice display. Okay, $60 difference between the two guns, right? Got my nice cardboard box here. I got my TSA type, you know, really nice box that you can take on the airlines here. It's also completely waterproof. Completely waterproof, pressurized. Yeah, I have multiple back straps. What is in here? I, what, I don't want to open it. What is in here? Uh, basic cleaning kit and instruction manuals. Your basic Trigger. stuff. Your basic stuff. Now, look, I'm not one of those people that, like, I don't like gifts. I don't like toys. I don't like stuff. Like, I'm just, that's not me. So, but everybody who's walked in has said, this is some cool stuff in here. I'm gonna do a little bit, I'll turn it around so you can show it this way. Then I'll show you the John Wick coin. I can zoom in on this, right? So this has everything you're gonna need to take the gun down, break the gun down, change the back straps, have a little fun with it. Um, it comes with a holster. It is an upgrade from their standard holster. This one already has a cutout for optics if you're gonna put optics on the gun because this, this does have an MOS cut. It's optic ready. Um, and if you can see it on the, on the, the front, I do not care for most Canics, I do not care for uh, some things about the standard Canic holster. This is an upgrade, it's a better holster. If you didn't see it when I held it up earlier, now this is not about the gun here, I'm gonna go on the gun in a minute because the gun's a lot more important than this crap in the box. A lot of people like the crap in the box. Uh, me personally, I think it's cool, but that's not what's gonna make me buy or, or not buy a gun. The crap's just fun stuff. So here's your, here's your John Wick gold coin you know it's got it's the double-sided gold coin it's it's just cool remember $60 difference I got the full cleaning kit I've got the magazine speed loader in here um, I got the tools to break down the pins pretty much every freaking thing you're gonna want to use on this gun is in this box so you don't have to go out and buy the parts somewhere else 
What's in here again? Never mind. I'm kidding. You don't tell me. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm just you know, being smart ass, which I'm really good at. Just ask my wife. Um, but the gun. So besides the uh, factor when everybody looked at it, 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 if you don't like it, it's fine. I think it's a really great looking gun. Um, it's not really the burnt bronze. It's kind of an FDE in black. I mean, the gun looks really good. Um, it comes... Now, this, this has two options for sights, either with an optic or without an optic. I think it's the, it's the version 3. What's the, the Canic, the one that's made for Canics? Um, I'll put it down below. I'm, I'm having a brain fart. The optics were out. We couldn't get it. Uh, getting the gun was good enough, or as best we could do. Um, I said, $6,000 guns do this. You got to... Canic TTI is by far the most affordable out of the line of Terran Tactical stuff by a factor of about four. I would say, yeah, that's that's a good way to put it. However, I would take it over one of their TTI Glocks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So... Not knocking the TTI Glocks. They are fantastic. It's an upgrade from it. Well, I, it, I, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to. I'm not going to talk bad about Glocks again. I'm going to. I'm just. <laughs> uh, for those of you that don't know, I, I carry a Canic. I carry a Canic TP and I see Elite every day. Have now, have now for three years and five months. Um, I used to carry Glock 19. Now, when I, golly man, just pulling the slide back. I mean, everything about it is just. It's slicker and snot on a doorknob. It's slicker and snot, I like that. Slicker and snot on a doorknob. So, uh, it is meant to be a competition gun. It's meant to be a run gun. It's meant to go fast. Um, the trigger. So, this is a little bit of a curved trigger on this Polymer 80. I'm going to make them mad. I'm going to shadow systems. A little bit of a curved trigger. Uh, this one is completely flat. I'll hold it here long to see if we can we can zoom in on it. The other thing about it is, and I'll hold this up close, you may be able to see it at an angle. The trigger's not only flat, but it's a really wide trigger. And when I first put my finger on it, I thought, man, that's, that's really a lot of surface area there. Um, there's only a few other guns I've felt triggers on pistols that have that much surface area. Uh, but be honest with you, like you can't miss the trigger. You can't you can't not find a flat space to put your finger on. But golly, it is really smooth. And and the reset, I'm just going to show you. I don't know if you saw how short that was. I'm going to do it again. See that? I mean, it is like super super short. That is probably. I don't know. We haven't we haven't put a had put a pull on it to see what the what the poundage is. I don't know. We have not. It's uh, it's sub four. I, 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 it feels good enough. I didn't even bother. It's just it's just perfect. Um, now these are on. I think right now a sixty day back order for all of the distributors. If you if you can find one out there, by all means, go friggin' buy it. Um, we have them. We will have them available again. They'll be on our site. That's 18 guns, and the reason we call ourselves our gun site 18 guns is because we think that 18-year-olds should own guns. And people go, well, 18-year-olds aren't mature enough to own guns. I've met 60-year-olds that are not mature enough to own guns. It's the individual, it's not the 18-year-old. That's the way we feel about it. If you can get in the military, you can have kids, you can get married, you can have a bank account, you can pay your taxes. By George, you ought to be able to protect, protect your family, taxes, home, and those type of things. That's how we feel. But going back to the gun. Um, incredibly smooth. I don't remember how many rounds it is. Do you know? I forgot. I think it's 21 to 19. So 18 and 1 with that mag. 18 and 1. And yeah, eight, both of them are 18 and 1. So it is kind of the uh, the standard full size Canic. Um, I just I can't say enough else about the gun that's good. Features, performance, the fit. The only there's one was one negative. I told you what the one negative was when I picked it up. It's because maybe, maybe I'm a little bit of a pussy. I don't know. I, just, I don't know. But the back strap is a little rough. Um, I didn't care some for like a few of the Glocks I made years ago. The stippling got a little bit rough. Um, the sides are different than the back. I don't know what it is. 
That's the only thing negative when I put it in my hand right off. I went, you know, if I shot with this at the range all day long, I might end up hurting, my, some my, hurting my poor little fingers, my little hands a little bit. That's that's all that might happen. You might end up with some calluses because yeah, I, I like the aggressive. Yeah, you texture. liked it, and I went, that's eh, a little rough. I would, if it were me, I'd hate to take sandpaper to this gun, but I would probably, if it were me, I might knock a little bit, just a little bit off of there, which will also come off with a little, little time anyway, because it's polymer, right? But uh, man, I'm telling you, I'm hoping the dude lets us shoot this gun. I just, I can't quit playing with it. I can't, can't quit playing with it. If, if you're looking at buying a Shadow Systems, whatever the hell this is, or you're looking at getting a Terran Tactical or any Canic, I would put any single Canic that comes in here that's a $450 gun and above, every single one of them, I would tell you I like it better than I do this Shadow Systems. Uh, and look, we have Shadow Systems on our website. Like it's, like, it's not like we don't sell or offer the guns or we can't make money if you if you buy one. We got 35,000 guns on the site. I would not go buy that gun. I'd buy it before a Glock, but... Buy it before a Glock. But you wouldn't spend $1,000 for it. And there's a lot of a lot better guns that can be had for a lot less money. They really are. I'm telling you, the Terran Tactical, man, this is awesome. Um, I'm hoping you'll come back and watch some more videos. Uh, we do have a lot of guns we really need to cover. Jonathan is an amazing gunsmith. What he is not amazing at is talking on camera. He doesn't like the camera. So he's going to be like hiding in the background doing this kind of stuff for us. I'll peek out sometimes. I just like being anonymous. Prefer not to, right? Hey, do us a favor, like and subscribe. Uh, got a lot of good content. We're gonna try to keep doing videos, a couple of them a week, to keep you engaged. It helps the channel if you can please like and subscribe. Thanks.